Hypothalamus is primarily marked by the optic chiasma. Optic chiasma is this place where two optic nerves cross in the median sagittal plane to form a, a, the optic chiasma and it is located immediately anterior to the tubercinerome. Tubercinerome is usually located immediately posterior to optic chiasma and in this uh, brains where the, where the uh, meninges were not removed yet, you can see a stalk or the infundibulum of the tubercinerome, which is the only connection between it and the pituitary gland. And this is the end of the, of the infundibulum. Here we, this is infundibulum. Here we can see the optic chiasma. These are optic nerves. And from the optic nerves are rising optic tracts. Optic tracts are these white extensions which go lateral from each optic chiasm. By lateral, these are the optic tracts. Now, posterior to the tubercinerome, you can see the mammillary bodies. Mammillary bodies which are associated with the limbic system that's responsible for our social behavior. Now, um, when we look at the Oh yeah, this is probably not a very uh, outstanding specimen, but it, we should look at it from this side. This is the cerebellum, so here we have fragment of the fourth ventricle. This is the midbrain, and superior aspect of midbrain consists of the superior and inferior colliculi of tectum. This is a tectum. And now, when we look at it laterally, there is sort of extension of each of these colliculi, which have form of the brachium of inferior colliculus and rather short brachium of the superior colliculus. And this brachium of the inferior colliculus is, uh, goes to the medial geniculate body. This is a medial geniculate body, which is always located immediately below the thalamus. This is the medial geniculate body, this area, while the lateral geniculate body is farther because it is located at the, uh, at the course of the optic tract. So this is optic tract which next dilates and sends collaterals to the medial geniculate body, but major part of it goes here to make this curve and this is the lateral geniculate body. So this is lateral, this is a medial geniculate body. So this is a metathalamus. Now, to see uh, epithalamus, we need a sagittal section. This is a sagittal section of brain. Here you can see the inferior and superior colliculus. This is tectum. This is the cerebral aqueduct. And this is the uh, tegmentum of the midbrain. Here we can see fragment of cruce cerebri. This is the red nucleus. And now, where can we see these structures that belong to the epithalamus? Well, first of all, at the border between the medial and superior aspect of thalamus, this is the thalamus, by the way, that's a thalamus, we can see a certain ridge, which is so-called medullary striae of thalamus. And posterior, this ridge dilates to form a triangle, a habenular triangle. Next, habenular triangle joins with the contralateral through the habenular commissure. And inferior limb, which goes to this certain structure here, is the posterior commissure. This is posterior commissure, where is the anterior commissure, but the anterior we will talk in a in the next hour meeting. This is the anterior commissure, but it does not belong. And here we have fragments of the pineal body. This is a pineal body. That's a pineal body. Here we can see some cavities inside. Probably it's a pineal body of an old individual because uh, within old uh, pineal bodies, instead of the glandular tissue, you can observe so-called cerebral sand. Latin is the uh, acervulus cerebri, but it's, it's a sand-like substance consisting of the crystals of phosphohydroxyapatites because it calcifies 
and uh, it decreases production of these inhibitory factor and this is why uh, the gonads may, may, may mature. Uh, so this is pineal body here and this is the posterior commissure. Posterior commissure is the immediate extension of the tectum. So when you have tectum here, that's a tectum, this is the fragment of posterior commissure. This is a posterior commissure here. Um, subthalamus can be seen on special uh, sections. Well, here we have only a fragment of the substantia nigra of the dark substance and its continuation towards the brain chemisphere is the, is the uh, subthalamic nucleus. Here, one more time, we have the inferior colliculi of tectum. These are fragments of the superior colliculi. And this is the frenulum of superior medullary vellum with the fragments of this superior medullary vellum. And laterally, you have the superior cerebellar peduncle, the, in, the middle, and this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Here we have the olive and the, and the pyramids, two pyramids bilaterally, and the olive again. Uh, so, thalamus can be seen on such sections, however, we can do a section through the brain tissue and you can see also some extensions of the, of the thalamus. Uh, by the way, here we have, what do we have here? Here we do not have anything, unfortunately.